okay yeah so for updating the data you have to use put okay yeah. now put is for add actually i mean like for adding the data but to update also you can use, use put, put only but then you can put a new value this time so how okay. you will update it you will say okay this time before you are changing before's value to something else suppose 3566 okay you updated it in this way and then again you'll print it okay so all these things are you know you have to done it using methods we don't do have to do it or uh, handle it um, like we have done it in array okay for every for every functionality for every operation we have methods in all these three collections array list link list and hash map okay so this okay B four, right? Four five yeah. six one. Eight, oh, B four three four five six. Correct here. Yeah. Okay, it got updated. This is how you have to update. So I'll always make sure that you are capable of doing all the CRUD, four CRUD operations: create, initialize. Okay, C R U D. Create, delete, um, update. C R read. You should be able okay. to read the data also. Okay, getting it. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Um, this is done. Collections are done. Let me quickly check what I have to teach you. Collections, arrays, functions, string operations are done. Um, inheritance, I have taught you already, right? Sorry? Inheritance or not? I haven't no. taught you inheritance? Okay, perfect. Let me teach you inheritance now. One second. Before that, I have finished your... Um, Aries, Aries and hash map also done. Okay, so let's jump on uh, a simple concept, which is, okay, before that. Okay, let me draw something for you. Mm. Okay, let me directly start. So what is class and what is object? That is something that we're gonna cover, okay, today. So till now I told you that, okay, ignore everything. Okay, ignore everything and Whenever you need any method or anything, just create a classes object and then use it. Correct. But why we have to create an object? What is the importance of object? What is class? Okay. Why we create object, then only we can access the method. So I'll tell you the simple concept here. Okay. Class is a blueprint. Okay. Class is a blueprint. Using the, the architects, they create blueprints, right? But unless someone creates a house using that blueprint, that blueprint of is of no use. It's just merely a paper. Correct. So there is yes. no existence of that imagination, which is there on the paper. Um, um, yeah, there is no existence. You know, you cannot say that this is my house ABC unless you make it by using that blueprint. OK, so class is like that. Class is just a, um, a, a steps which says that, OK, you can have a door in your house, you can have door of blue color in house, you can have two doors in your house or whatever. All everything will be written there in the class. But unless you create an object that is a copy you have created using that skeleton or using that blueprint, unless you create it, then only you can assign those values, door number, door color and everything. Okay, so let me give you an example here. Let me draw it. Okay, so let's see. Suppose this is a blueprint. Okay. Um, mm -mm. Okay, let it be. Let me tell you from here only. Okay, so class one, suppose. Now, in this class one, okay, this is a class. This is a class keyword. If you will not write class in front of it, then you cannot use it as a class, okay? Now, so in main, you don't even need main, okay? You don't even need main. Uh, we 
we create main because we need um, to create an object and then we have to access um, methods. But see here, in this class, I'm saying, okay, this is a blueprint. If you want to make a house, this is a blueprint, okay? So int door, okay? You are saying if you create a house or someone creates a house using my blueprint, they can, they can um, create a door. They can create a window. Okay, they can create whatever they want, and then they can create the functionalities like okay, in my house, um, um, the the stairs will work like this, the kitchen will work like this. Not kitchen. Tell me something which works in your house. Okay, mm -mm -mm. lift. Yeah, whatever. Okay, in my house, uh, lift will work like this. Okay, so these are the functionalities. Or uh, let's say let's take another example. Suppose this is a person. Okay, person's class. Mm. Control set. Let me rename it for a proper understanding. Okay. So you are saying, okay, this is a skeleton that, okay, if any new person will come into world, that person will have two eyes, two nose. He will walk like this. He will eat like this. He will talk like this. So they have given, um, a proper explanation that okay if god will create a new person he can assign these this, this functionality to that new person okay now that person can have int eyes count okay int nose count suppose okay two things now int now he, he can do some functionalities also right so functionalities are he can talk, so I'll write public void can talk. So he can assign that functionality. Now public void can eat. Okay, this is another functionality. Right. So now you see um control shift F and this out I can talk and I'm saying this out okay I can eat now God has said that that okay if if any new person comes into market or into world I'm sorry uh, sure. these are the functionalities that you can assign to your person okay there are hundreds of functionality but maybe whatever Arjun knows that I cannot do like Arjun can eat I can sleep I cannot eat because I'm a different person. Arjun can dance, I can sing. Arjun does not know about dancing, I know about dancing. So a set of functionalities are there, but it's on you that what kind of person you are creating from this blueprint of a person, okay? So that existence of a new person, that is Arjun or Arti, they are two individual person and they will having two different property or characteristics, right? So as a two different person, which is there in the real life, they exist, right? So those are objects okay the blueprint is class you yes. getting it now yes okay so now this is a blueprint okay can talk but who can talk we cannot say that unless we create any person then only we can say okay arjun can talk or arti can eat correct so let's see let's create two mm, okay here only i'll create in main class i'll say okay using this blueprint we're gonna create two persons Okay, one person is um, persons, Arjun equals to new persons, okay? So Arjun is one person, but Arjun now came in, Arjun now came into existence, okay, as a person, why? Because still now it was just skeleton, people were writing that, okay, if tomorrow someone will create person, person will be like this, he, he, will, he will be able to do this, 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 but till now it was just in theory, there was no real practical. instance of that yeah, exactly yeah. there was no practical of that now we can assign some properties using that blueprint to arjun and that is we can say okay arjun's eye count is can be two okay because he's my person so like i it, it's on me that how i want my person to be so i'm saying okay my person should have eyes he should not have nose okay i chose that he should not have nose so i'll not assign any nose count for him but i will assign some property that he can talk Okay, you can talk. So these are the two properties I have assigned to Arjun. 
Similarly, I'll create another person and I'll say RT equals to new persons. And I'm saying that RT can do nothing, but she will only be able to eat. Okay. So different persons, different functionalities, but it does not mean that while, while assigning these properties, um, you were not having the access of these properties, but you chose not to assign it. You chose that, okay, I have access of all these functionalities. I can make my person super smart, like who knows everything, but I'm not doing it. I'm not interested in all those other functionalities. I'm interested that my person should be capable of eating. That's all. Okay, that's, that's my only requirement. So for this, we create objects so that we can use those things, which is there in class. You know, everything is there, but where you want to use it, right? So for yeah. that, you have to create object simple. Okay. Now, if I execute it, you see, I can talk, uh, I can talk and I can eat two things. Huh? coming to picture I count will also come if now I assigned it but I'm not printing it so let me print now and I'll say urgent dot I count okay. so like this in this way you will have outputs so now you're understanding different um, difference between class and objects so if if in interview someone asks you have to say class is just a blueprint and then object is an instance of class instance means the existence of a class okay real-time existence of a class but you don't say that that is just for giving you exam you guys example i say that but you have to say it's an instance of a class and because of creating the instance of a class we can access all the methods and the variables of that class simple okay now there can be multiple blueprints someone is saying okay if a person will come into market the person should be able to do do you know this thing not someone else is saying person should be able to do uh, jumping till you know um whatever 50 50 meter jump or 60 meter jump this is his property so like this everyone can create their own blueprints of what person should be capable of doing so different different blueprint is different different class okay now now let's see, someone creates a blueprint of robot, okay, which is altogether different class. But now this robot class says, okay, um, whosoever is creating this uh, blueprint, okay, robot bl blueprint, they, they are saying, okay, I know that robot not going to eat, right? Robot yeah. cash will be, will be sleeping maybe, like if he'll switch off his button, he will sleep maybe. We can consider yeah. that as a sleep. But then... He, he will be having his own functionalities as well as we can um, take some functionalities of a person for a robot, okay? We don't have to repeat, you know, write, uh, we don't have to write all the functionalities again. We can ask person class or we can ask person class to give us some um, idea or give us some functionalities that they have written for a person. And then I will add that for my robot class also. So suppose... Suppose in robot class, um, okay. Suppose being a robot, I have my extra properties also. I can fly, okay. So public void, I suppose this functionality is given to me in my blueprint by my owner. So that is, uh, that is fly, okay. But there are some functionalities that I don't want to write. This one I wrote, okay. But then some functionalities I want to take from the person's class because they have already written it. So why to, re why to rewrite it, right? So suppose there is one, fun one functionality in persons and that is um, walk or talk, suppose talk. My robot can also talk, right? So why to write this code again? If it is there in persons, I can ask person class to have it, correct? So for that, you have to extend, okay? You have to extend your robot class to the person's class. The okay, extends means asking for help. Okay, asking for, asking for help. So being a robot class, you ask for a help from a person's class. Okay, from a person's class. And you say, okay, I, I, 
I'm gonna need some methods from your end. Okay, so those methods are. Um, okay, no, one second. Um, if I do the extends, then you can reuse it, but then I don't want to reuse it. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, let me create a main method here. Okay, and here I will directly reuse. Okay, I will not create my own method of talking, but I'm gonna reuse the person's talking method here. Okay, so what I'll do here is uh, I'll say public void talk. This is my method, but the functionality is I'm just directly taking it from. Uh, person's class okay so we'll see mm. okay uh, i'm adding one key keyword here okay don't get confused here i'll teach you this later static so i'm adding this and what i'm doing is persons dot you see can talk okay now i, I haven't written that functionality is by my own i just created my talk method robot talk and that talk is actually using the same implementation of that of person internally that means i'm reusing my code correct whatever was there in the person class thousand lines of code for talking i just reused it in robot class okay i called it i called that method here now I'll create the object of it, of robot class. So suppose I created robot um, Siri. Okay, the Siri robot. Siri can now talk, Siri can now do everything. He made the super, super uh, special robot. Okay, like this. So this is how you wanna use it, okay? by, by using the methods of the previous class. So let me execute it. So if you see, I can talk and fly both. Okay, you getting it? Yes, yes. Fair idea? Okay. So why I used a stat keyword here is because I don't want it to uh, create an object on all those things directly by writing the class name, this Link. persons. Yes, yeah. persons dot, I wanted to do like this, persons dot the method directly yeah. without creating the object and then object dot method the way we have done here i didn't want it to write this um, extra line so i directly called it by just by making that method static i can directly call it i don't need object for that okay mm. so okay this is all about class and objects okay cool so you have to create an object to access anything may be a variable what do you what do you mean by variable if i have any i count or whatever these, these are the variables and these are the methods, okay? To access anything, you need object, correct? You need object. So this is how, because unless you create an object, there is no use of calling those methods. Where are you gonna call it? Yeah, how you will say this, this person, yeah. making sense, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is class and object. So, but now onwards, we will not use these, um, these examples. So if I use it with some other example also, you should understand it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's do constructors. Okay, this is a new topic. So till now you saw that um, whenever uh, you need any functionality or you want to do any functionality, you have to call it, right? Yeah. You have to specifically call it. But what if um, you want that something should get called automatically the moment someone creates objects? For example, if I'm saying, okay, if someone creates person, the moment I'll know that, okay, some new person is there in the world, new person got born, um, automatically an invitation will get sent to everyone that, okay, we have a new person in our house. 
okay yes. something something that you don't have to call people should not call for invitation you know it automatically automatically should get triggered that okay we are happy today we have new person in our house this should be triggered this kind of invitation should be triggered to everyone automatically okay now for that we have constructors here okay now see this mean and i'll write okay c1 object equals to new c1 okay so whenever you look look at the statement what we have here is um, see this c1 is equals to class name obj is my object object who will be using uh, all the methods and variables okay and what is new new is a keyword which helps us to create the new instance of it like new person every time or new instance of a class every time okay so new is a keyword and that is for creating new object now what is c1 sorry c1 circular bracket okay so what we know about circular bracket that wherever we have circular bracket that's a function correct yeah. Yeah. that's a function but when it comes with the class name i mean like when your function is same as that of a class name that's a constructor so you see this thing is a constructor here okay c1 curly bracket but then c1 which is exactly same as that of a class name is a constructor so let me remove this i'll say not a pose not a function but constructor okay now what is the use of constructor okay what is the use of a constructor so let's see in this class in this c1 you can create constructor anywhere like the way you can create method anywhere right in the same way you can create constructor anywhere now the rules defined with creating the constructor okay what are the rules rule is constructor should have um same name as that of class rule number 1 rule number 2 is uh it should be it should look like a method with closed sorry circular brackets okay i should have a, a body by body i mean um uh, curly brackets okay and it should not have return type it should not have return type these are the four rules with the constructor okay so now let me create a constructor here i will create a constructor okay so as i said your constructor can be public okay but it cannot have this void int string that we learned yesterday return type of a method right because your constructor does not return anything you getting me yeah okay so I, i will not write void here okay this is not allowed your constructor should have same name as that of class it should look like a method and it should have a body so now this is automatically your constructor okay this is not a method this is not a normal method you don't need any object to call it you don't have to write that c1 um you know c1 obj equals to new c1 to call it and then obj dot c1 again you cannot do that okay but what you want is the moment someone will create a object whatever i have written inside the c1 should should execute by default without even calling it okay so let's see if in, in this cm c1 i write that okay print i am happy for new persons person in house and you are invited okay this is an invitation that, that you want to send the moment a person comes into this world so see you if you see here object okay when my code my code will start from main correct my code will start from main no matter how much i have written every, uh, anything like anywhere else the code starting point is main so my code will come here it will see that new object got created it will go to c1 in c1 i have this so it will execute this 
Yeah. Okay, so let's see. See, okay, I'm not even calling anything. I'm not saying obj dot c one. Like I'm not saying like this. You cannot do this. This is not allowed in Java because constructor is not a method. Okay, constructor is a constructor. Whatever prerequisite you have, you can keep it here in a constructor. Simple. Getting it? Yes. 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 Hello. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. So suppose I have one method also. I'm. Um, I know you are getting late. Just two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, public void can talk. Okay, so if you see, this is a method. This is not a constructor because it looks like a constructor, but it is having a written type also. And the method name is not same as that of constructor, right? Sorry, method is not, not same as that of class. Okay. And if you see, if I'll execute the same code again. Okay, only this thing is getting executed. This thing is not getting executed. Why? Because you have to specifically go and call it. You have to do this dot can talk okay you see then only it will come into picture but whatever is prerequisite you want that okay before before preparing the food all this you know all this preparation needs to be done before preparation of a food all those preparation you can write inside the constructor it will yes. be ready for you before cooking yes. got it so this is the help of constructor this is a use of constructor to to your coding now in that also there are different type of constructor. So if you have time, I'll continue. Otherwise, I'll stop. It's like you have to get ready. Okay, no problem, no problem. We'll cover yeah. that on Sunday also. Yeah. Okay, some some extra hours. Yeah, I'll tell Priyanka. Yes, I'll... please. Yes, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop then here. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Arjun. Mm, stop share.